This tutorial will be how to create spaces and folders in ClickUp. So as you can see, my workspace is pretty much set up, so I will just come up with a fake space for the sake of this tutorial. So to start, you just click this button, New Space, and I'm just going to name this Space. Um, we can go over templates in another part, but I'm just going to ignore this uh, part right now. So next. I like the color black, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> you can come up with, you can choose a different avatar for your space, which I did for my other spaces, but for this one, I'll just choose this S right here. Um, <clears throat> so if you have a multi-member workspace, then I suggest uh, using this general space, or if you're just gonna use this for yourself, click private. I am the only person on my space, so it really doesn't matter. Um, now, the templates are interesting. I will just choose normal, but I did choose this content one because if you see these buttons, these will come in handy if you have a multi-member content team. Um, there's also one for Scrum, you know, one for marketing, et cetera, et cetera. But for, again, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to choose the normal one. Um, I will go into click apps in the writing part of the article. Um, I do find these very interesting. I mean, just for the sake of this tutorial, I will just choose the recommended click apps. So yeah, you can like choose this one for email. Um, you could add like time estimates, uh, deadlines, um, stuff like that. So very, very interesting stuff. As far as the way that the um, that the space is organized, I chose list form for all of mine because that's just the easiest one for me. But there are many others. Like if I were to use ClickUp for my content calendar, I would definitely use this one. Um, again, like Gantz, like the timeline board. You know, there are different views, you know, depending on how your how you and your team work. So um, again, I was going to choose list. Um, so you go to review your space, just make sure everything is correct, and then create space. So when you create space, you see it will just come up right here on the sidebar. Now to create a folder uh, with um, your cursor hovering over space uh, or your workspace, click this plus arrow. Then you go to new folder. So enter a folder. So I'll just do space folder. Uh, again, ignoring templates. Um, you can choose all this stuff. Like you can choose if you want a different way to view it. Um, if you want to share this folder with anybody. Um, stuff like that. So I'm just going to leave it as is and create the folder. Now once you create the folder, you are immediately uh, in the folder, you can add a task. Um, save. And I will also go over uh, more of the lists and tags and docs and everything that you can create within the folder.